week three versus Pharaohs in his um, New England evolutions. Try to look that up so I don't say that wrong. Um, his team has been rather tough to prep for, and hopefully I have that included. Uh, I have recorded it. I just really, really may or may not have messed that recording up. So I really hope it works out right. Let's see the team here. Looks the part. Um, was kind of hoping not to see Cursula, but Neuver makes sense. Excredo makes sense. Tyranitar makes sense. Um, not seeing Rotor is kind of good. Um, I was a bit on the offside whether or not I would have expected um, Cursula, but that's that's going to be a tough mount to break. At least this makes my pre marina very efficient. <laughs> Granted that I, you know I get my lead room that is. I'm still kind of wary. Primarina makes sense to, as a lead, and we'll take it from there, basically. Skirt, so, uh, the only thing I kind of regret was I wasn't... Um, I was really considering being specs for this battle. But I just couldn't switch in properly towards Pokemon such as uh, Neuvern. Not to say I do now either, but... Uh, least option is kind of there um i kind of want to get my stealth rocks up um really surprised i didn't see quagsire that was a pokemon i think was kind of shaking uh, i'll be honest like quagsire was something i really was hoping to see just so i can use freeze drive my mammoth swine so that's a wasted spot for stealth rocks it's gonna have that said <laughs> you know i have to prep for everything after all and um like I said, this team looks to be the part. He had a lot of really good options versus me. And this is actually the last week we're going to use Cobalion and Serena. They are going to be drawn for next week and are going to potentially cover my thought process. Maybe in the end of this video, depending on what I decide to do. We're seeing Nightwing. Cool. So I expect him to absolutely switch out. <laughs> As there's really nothing he could do. And... Uh, Moonless does quite right. I think Tyrantrons could be his only real switch in. Uh, he could have Super Fang, and if so, you know, that's gonna whittle me down somewhat. Or he U turns, as he should be faster. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna soak that really well because we are a pre marine after all. Um, I kinda regret I didn't bring Greedians. I would love that, but Cursula is such a good Pokemon versus me, Dad. I just, I couldn't take that risk. But at least we saw you turn. More than that, we don't know. Um, I'm kind of breaking him to be either Defog or at least Heavy Duty Boots. He is really thinking about this. If I were him, I'd probably switch in Cursula. Glycepar, alright. And Moonblast will do alright here. Yeah, yeah, it kind of did. We have a really shaky connection for sure. Um, I'll just go for another Moonblast. I don't like first impression. Yeah, it's gonna absolutely do a chunk on me, but I'm absolutely faster. And getting a life support out of the way would be helpful. <laughs> I could force myself to bring in Sarina and take the first impression, but if you do something weird, which he decided not to, uh, that would have been a, just a really, really overall bad play. So right, Emerge Exit activated, and we're gonna get another situation here, and I'm I'm feeling Tyranitar. Tyranitar is super dangerous and uh, something I don't want to deal with head on. At all, really. Um, and if Kursla comes in, I... I have a rough idea. Alright, Sreko, Tyranitar. Because Moonblast is around, I think it is in the 30 40%, and I am absolutely taking more than that, so. Plus, I'm potentially slower. So my best switch in here is kind of bringing Ashlyn. Um, he could go for a crunch, he could also Dragon Dance. Uh, all I really want to do is 
force him out as um, Serena is not necessarily like a key Pokemon in this battle anyway just because we didn't see the likes of Quagsire and Power Whip should do a significant chunk and um, knock up should be annoying for him and that's the way I'm leveling back and forth with let's see rock slide cool and he misses you know you optimize for those kind of moves and when you miss them it looks really really awful I'm all I can say I'm sorry man <laughs> that's really all I can say I mean what do you do I hate when that happens so power whip or knock off Ah, power whip. If you say sin, you know, that's it. I think it's gonna predict a potential high jump kick. So I guess Neuver would be kind of alright. I do I do like the idea of U-turn, but at this time I really want as much damage as possible on this guy. Let's see... Turby, and that is... Alright. So it wasn't the worst play, but at the same time, like... Hitmolly is not... The funniest guy. We did alright. So I assume him to be leftovers. There we there we go. Now the bigger question is um Right, we do the no he's gonna do the knockoff play. That's his only real play, and uh, there's really nothing to it. Knockoff, close combat, or even toxic, and I believe I force him out naturally by being a Rotom, forcing him for a potential air slash. See, there's a toxic. That's a good play. Um, had nothing really to take that toxic besides maybe Gengar. And uh, what I want to do now is absolutely force him out. As if I were him, I probably think I go for an air slash. This is not good, is it? I mean, this is absolutely making Neuver and tougher. But what we are gonna do is go for that Will O Wisp. And uh, I believe his switch is his Glycopod Tyranitar. Curse a lot to an extent. At least it switches out like that. Happy feelings. Let's see, not win. All right. Oh no. That I did not want to see. Right, I've all switched here. Um, if he goes for Draco, you know, so be it. You hate to see it, like, I was kind of considering, you know, this could be a thing, it could always miss the will -Wisp. and, um, for what it's worth, at least, I would say that we're both now, right, go for Shadow Ball, so, neutral damage, and we take that significantly well, Ball Switch should do a fair chunk, and, uh, I should easily force him out here, uh, with almost anything I bring in. But I'm gonna bring the ex-wife and I'm gonna go for a knockoff. I think Golisopod is a potential switch in. Though if I were him, I'd probably try to preserve that uh, that first impression for as long as I can. But we go for knockoff, nothing to it. Because I think it takes out Goliath's apart, at least it switches out, so that's good. Kurzla, Kurzla, Clover. Yeah, fine. That's not what I wanted to see, but fine. 
So Glyzopod is gone, I guess that's goodish. And yeah, it was absolute assault vest. There are a lot of turns of sand, I'll give him that. <sighs> it's absolutely smooth rock. So hit points up kinda makes it here, right? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I was always thinking. So I'm bringing back Rotom. I think the knockoff play is kind of up there, but yeah. I really couldn't do this play justice. Like, I don't want to stay in for an earthquake or anything like that. And um, Rotom is kind of shaky right now, so if anything I'll just Volt Switch with Rotom anyway. At least it looks to that... Uh, like I'm leveling here, but it looks that at least I have a chance with the uh, Cobalion to kind of break through. If I get, get more chip on Noivern and even knock it out, that would be wonderful. Right, switches out Turvy, goes to Augury. And that's alright. Sands have subsided. I have no idea what he wants to try to do, but I just want one thing on this guy. And that is Wisping him. So I can activate, at least if Hex from this case isn't hurt all that much, at least Gengar's Hex will hurt all the more. Where's I? Can you say something? That's good. Let's see, Nightshade, I assume. Stealth Rocks. That's alright. Um, question is, do I want the rocks out of the way? Both yes and no. I'd rather do the damage, I feel, but we'll go for one Defog. Because I don't believe this hex is gonna do a significant chunk anyway. And if we follow this up with another stealth rock play, you know, so be it. But um, stealth rock is right. Um, I was expecting to be nightshade recover, or even will o wisp and hex. Um, that combination makes sense. I kind of want him to kill me, <laughs> so I really hope we go for nightshade. If we go for another stealth rocks, that's just him showing that he has made up his mind. Um, see, stealth rocks, alright. So isn't that a weird spot where he gets to keep the rocks? Or it's not a weird spot, it's me just suffering. Um, so, yeah, hex him. Because if anything, like if he keeps rocks, so be it. Like I said, it was, I believe that's the game plan we have back and forth between one another. Um, I'm still considering whether or not that was smooth rock. It didn't count the turns, but it definitely was lasting for a while. Um, really, really just... I was kind of hoping I was going to get my rocks up, so I'm really frustrated that I got the cold shoulder here and I'm losing this, the, the stacking situation. At least it didn't have Rose Raid, the Rodan was not necessarily all that important. But Hex is going to do what? Fair. I would say fair chunk. And there is Scald, okay. So maybe I should have defunct. Just maybe. But... At least I can bring in Gengar, and Gengar is absolutely killing from here. Uh, with stab and whatnot, there is really nothing to it. The way I see it, I have two options. But one thing I kind of want to do, and that is just to disrupt his Tyranitar. Um, so what I'm going to do is absolutely um, go for a substitute here. We have some communications issues. I absolutely feel that. It's not just on his side. I feel we're both just waiting a long time, even after I make my decision. That's kind of tough. But yeah, I feel Tyranitar is like a free play, and uh, 
I can directly go for a substitute and uh, then burn him. I feel it's a free combination. And if he decides to attack me, I can actually go for a disable here. For him to switch out. Like I said, it's significantly free go to um, Tyranitar. Yeah, there we go. And I'm not going to beat Tyranitar besides stalling him out, that is. So all I can hope is that I burn him. Because <laughs> that will at least make Tyranitar less threatening. It still is very, very, very scary Pokemon. But a burn will absolutely help. Let's see. He is almost five, six minutes in. So I have two minutes as a, as a benefit on him. So that's kind of rough. That's why I really, I really hate the chest timer because of that. Because there are a situation here where... I shouldn't say it's gonna happen, but when you have a lead of minutes between one another, you know, the option is always gonna be there, you know, can I stall at the time and win that way? And I don't find that in particularly healthy. Uh, right, he switches out directly, goes to Natwing. So if I can get a burn on you, that would have been wonderful. Because I think the only, he's gonna break my sub anyway because of Shadow Ball, but I absolutely will knock him out. And then I have a huge benefit. <laughs> or not huge, but I got absolutely um, a lead way, I would say. Um, so Shadow Ball, there we go. Noivern is out. And. Um... Oh, wait, Infiltrator. Oh no. I am dumb. Why did I forget about Neuber Infiltrator? Jesus, right, he got me. What else can I say? Bring in the ex wife. It's <laughs> ah, it's wonderful. Unfortunate, but also kind of wonderful. I like that. So, yeah, I mean, that was kind of, um, kind of anticlimactic. He would absolutely sack this Pokemon out, right? Or bring in Hitmon top, I guess. Um, I I'm kind of in shock. I didn't think about the Infiltrator. Oh, it's dumb. Ooh, it's way dumb. And that's what I get. Bring in Turvey. Um, I'm getting a bit stressed now because I do recognize that I made a huge mistake. I made a huge mistake. Let's see, two turns of sand. So we're gonna send him pre marina and we go in to take this knockoff or close combat or whatever and um, take the farm there. I absolutely messed up. Um, I really can't say much more than that. Uh, I'm <laughs> in shock. All right. Let's see. I feel a close combat. It's either that or knockoff. Toxic. Okay, we can do toxic. At this point, I'm just gonna moonblast away anyway. He could be Protect. But I'm absolutely faster. I think I should be absolutely faster. And if he brings Curse a lot, then we should be able to... to it kill that Pokemon anyway. I hope. <laughs> I won't deny it, I feel... I feel surprisingly beaten. This was not uh, what I was expecting, and uh, I can only, like... Uh, bring a solid nod to my opponent as that was a tremendous play. And no, bad by me, forgetting about the infiltrator. Should have absolutely looked up Neuber and didn't think about it at all. 
Right, his switches stand out. I think Kurzlis is switching, right? Augury. Yeah, I think Moonlight should do alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is absolutely a sack play, that's for sure. Uh, and I can't let it recover at all. I really need to... Uh, to knock this guy out. So there we go. I can only hope Tyranitar comes in now here next. And uh, I have no idea what to do then. But uh, yeah, like, I think I only faster than Hitmontop and Tyranitar right now. And do I want to get that hit on Tyranitar with uh, with the Sandstorm up or not? Or you can send the next real try to get that ship or bring in Neuburn. Let's see, Bifong comes in, that's... Alright. I think, unfortunately, this is my play. Um, should have Exisor, I know that, but uh, I wouldn't Soul Stance if I were him. And I saw a Sugar Berry on Cobalion to try to save me from the worst of it. So let's see what he does. Is he a man in Soul Stance? No, he Earthquakes, good. Though I do believe Exisor takes us out. It's life orb also, so it absolutely isn't helping. So... Knock off. Like... I do believe Exisor has the chance of knocking us out, but if he just doesn't, then you know that will be awesome. He switches out, good. Goes to Turfy. Hello there. So the question is, what do I want to do from here? Because basically, I think you want to reset the sand and then take it from there. I should go for Power Whip here. Let's see when it goes for Toxic or not. At least try to get as much damage as possible, even though I am at minus one. Right, stays in. Power Whip should do alright. Yeah, yeah, it's up there. It's absolutely up there. And there's a Toxic. gonna get a kill on him. I think he knows that, so Neuron should be his follow-up play, basically. Or he goes to Neuron directly, predicting me to keep power whipping. In case I wanna save that... that play. Because right now, I'm not feeling very hot. I'll give you the guys that. I beat Neuvern as long as Mammoth Swine is alive. Yeah, he just switched out. I kind of felt, you know, it's an option. Brings in Notwing, and that's gonna not be good. <sighs> At least I can make the power whip. It's gonna be four times resistant and do nothing. Because I believe he U turns. Really, really insist that this is a good play in keeping that one. Should be faster than Tyranitar, depending on his set. So... Synthesis or knockoff? Oh, 
Oh, we'll do this. It's a bad play. I don't believe I take that U-turn, but uh, I'm out of options. I clearly am. <laughs> I just can't live, you know, wiggle myself around that. Hurricane, right. He does the aggressive play, so I guess what's good that I switched out. And that Bongamon is gone. Bringing in the ex-wife. Like, if I get Neuven out of the way, I do believe I win. But as long as Neuven kicking, then it's not, it's not possible. <sighs> because I'm... <laughs> I'm so stressed because I'm like, it doesn't, no matter what I do, it doesn't feel natural. He has to make one of those weird calls. Please sack Neuvern, I need this. Because I don't know how to win if Neuvern is still active. You know it in yourself, sack the Neuvern. You don't need it. It's done nothing for you, thank god, I think I win. <laughs> like, okay, cool. Um, it's absolutely not over, but uh, this helps. Because if he brings Tarantar, I just Earthquake directly. If he brings um, Turfy, I'll Earthquake directly. Because that's the right thing to do. Well, I want to be myself in maximized power, don't I? I can't like do this back and forth. I need to kind of kind of put myself in a position. Right, he hard switches. He's an absolute beast. Till Sereko, and um, at least I think we are faster. But uh, that's about it. Had I earthquake there, like. He knows I'm insane, right? People aren't sleeping on that. I'll just power whip here, I hope I am faster. At this time, I kind of feel it could be Shuffleberry. Uh, power whip, I need the damage. Hope I'm faster. At this point, I feel that's a very, very likely thing to happen. Um, and if he's Shuffleberry, that's going to be real nasty. He could bring Excadrill directly. Decides to stay in, which is kind of good. We won't knock him out. But Jesus, do we do a lot. <laughs> okay, Far Punch and you, that's it. Ashlyn should have died, didn't die, but Sandstorm plus Toxic will wrap us up there. I was... Oh, it would have been cool if I survived this onslaught. I'm kind of, um, kind of disappointed. But right, I just quake away with Mammal right now. Potentially trying to bring this to 1-0. Fire punch was really good on him. Good prep. Um, I think Fire Punch, bleh, like Rock Slide, Fire Punch. I've seen. I can only see Crunch. But. For my team, Fire Punch would have been really great. There are a lot of like Pokemon I decided not to bring, and seeing them, seeing that prep, kind of throw in that category. Yeah, we just quake here, right? There is really don't need to be overcomplicating things. I mean, against um, Exeril, we do the eye shot play because we need the ship. I can only think that he's gonna bring Exeril here and uh, try to knock us out by the Air Force's Eye Shard and then switch into. Uh... Oh, 
Oh, you know what? I have a decision to make. I realize that now. Yufan comes in, doesn't have a lot of damage onto it, and uh, need to go for nice shard. And like I said, his play here should be. I need to calc, I think I feel. Let's see. So, a few seconds to make up my mind. Let's see, Earthquake, and that will do damage. Damage chugging. It's chugging anyway. Alright. Probably shouldn't do that. Come on. Give me the message. What's happening? There we go. Can I take a minus one? Cobalion. Right now I'm just kind of... Let's see, I'm out. One second, I should start any time now. Shookaberry, shookaberry, shookaberry. Because I got time, I got 52 seconds to make up my mind. Let's see, shuka, 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 shuka. Where are you? Shookaberry. Versus... Excadrill, Sand Rush. Is it Life Orb? It's Leftovers for some reason. Life Orb and potentially Adamant. Let's see, I'm in 18 seconds. Fuck it. I have to do it. I have to do it. Please attack me. Oh, if I go for an iron head, I, if he switches out, uh, there is a very, very strong chance that I'll lose. Right, it goes very quick. Good. I think we win. Oh, we would not have taken that at minus one. We're absolutely not taking that at minus one. And I can only hope that this close combat take out the Hitmon top. Because if not, well, I lose anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I can't remember how much, damn, much HP the Hitmon top had left. And I still have to be at minus one. Oh, and the, the Wi Fi is so bad. At least if I lose, I lose 1-0, and that's alright. Um, I blame every everything of this loss, I blame it all on... Um, on that evil traitor Neuvern, it just fucked me over. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, it's clearly in range. Even at minus one, I should kill this. Come on! Come on! Do it! Get him! Get him, Connor! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Did that crit matter? Oh no, it was minus one anyway. Good, my opponent. Hell yeah. That was a good loss. I blame it all on the Gengar situation. <laughs> that was good. Good prep on him. An absolutely most annoying connection ever. But one no loss, I'll take it. Hands down. That's good. That was real good. So yeah, I'll fill you. I'll, I'll fill you up, guys, on properly um, on this video with the changes I made to the team. But I really just want to have this said. Have this said. Good game for my opponent. That was really cool. Good prep.